Yo, what's up guys? It's X-Rays and welcome to the top 10 guns that we want to see return in the newly announced Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, all of these submissions were actually given to me on Twitter by my followers using the hashtag OG's Top 10. And if you guys in the future want to be a part of this series, then make sure to follow me on Twitter. A link is down in the description below. And anytime that I say that I want to do a Top 10, you guys will be the first ones to know and you have an opportunity to be on this series. It's a great way to interact with me and also be a part of the channel and one of my videos. Now with that said, all of these submissions that I got in today, we got one honorable mention, we got 10 submissions that are going to be placed in the top 10. All of these are not going to be in any particular order, all of these guns are really amazing, so I decided that instead of me placing them from best to least, or most wanted to least wanted, I decided to just have 10, and then you guys can leave down below what top 10 you guys want to see, or maybe if you don't have a top 10, what top 5 guns you want to see return in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, leave it as a comment down below. But anyways, with that being said, let's jump straight into the video and make sure to leave a like if you enjoy it. But with that said, let's talk about the very first gun. The honorable mention is going to be the PP90 from Modern Warfare 3. And this thing was just an absolute monster. It shot really fast, really fast rate of fire. Everyone used this thing for really close quarter combat. But anyways, with that said, let's move on to the top 10. Again, in no particular order. Feel free to leave your top 5 below. But we have the MTAR, or a variation of a TAR. So we got the MTAR from Black Ops 2, and then there's an SMG version in Call of Duty Ghost, as well as the TAR-21 that we know from Modern Warfare 2. So any type of TAR would be really cool to see it return. It's kind of to pay homage to those guns that have come before it. The next gun that we have is the M16, along with the AK-47. Both of these guys, staples in the Call of Duty series. The M16, of course, Usually you see it in every single Call of Duty, as well as the AK-47, and both of these guns are very big staples of the franchise, and again, this would be a really, really cool one to kind of do a throwback to previous Call of Duties as like, you know what, we got M16 up in here, we got the AK-47, but that was it, that was number 9, let's move on to the next one, we got the M4A1. Again, another one of those guns that's just been reliable, usable, low recoil. Again, there were different versions of this that came out in different Call of Duties, M27 and Black Ops 2, but nonetheless, a great gun. Hopefully it does return, and uh, let's move on to our next one. We've got the Modern Warfare 2 Intervention. Now, I doubt that this one is going to be back. It's a bolt-action sniper rifle, probably the most known sniper rifle in Call of Duty history. And uh, for good reason, it was an amazing gun, did a lot of damage, it was a bolt action, and you just look sick using it. Who knows, maybe it'll come back in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, but with that, let's move on to our next one. We've got the MSMC from Black Ops 2. Probably the first gun to be called OP, the MSMC, which was later nerfed and was not as great, but still a very good weapon, a very popular one in MLG. Let's move on to our next gun. We actually have the AK-74U from Black Ops 2 as well as from Call of Duty 4. A lot of really fond memories and, you know, really fun memories when I was playing Black Ops 2 completely destroying people on Nuketown using the AK-74U. Hopefully it comes back. Really, really amazing gun. Can't wait to see what comes up next. But let's move on to our next gun. We've got the MP7 in Modern Warfare 3 was basically the most popular gun apart from the ACR. One, it was basically an assault rifle, it had the range, it had the damage, but it was an SMG. Hopefully it comes back. Black Ops 2 had it, it was still amazing, not as good as the Modern Warfare 3 version, but I can't wait to see what happens. Let's move on to our next gun, we've got the Striker for Modern Warfare 3. This one again, a fan submission, we've got the Striker, possibly the most OP shotgun in Modern Warfare 3 at the time. And a lot of people got really frustrated with it, but it was just an amazing shotgun to use as well, even if you sucked with shotguns. This was it, the noob friendly shotgun. Uh, but with that said, let's move on to our next one. We have the AN94 from Black Ops 2, basically the AK-47 in Black Ops 2. Very low recoil, did a lot of damage, it didn't really shoot that fast, but it was an amazing gun. Everyone was using this along with the MSMC. So if Modern Warfare 3 had ACR MP7, then Black Ops 2 had MSMC AN94. But with that said, let's move on to our next gun. And we're actually going to have the number one gun on here. Again, no particular order. We have the PDW from Black Ops 2. This one at first was one of those guns that not a lot of people used. They thought it wasn't that great, but then they realized that, hey, this thing does the same amount of damage as the MSMC, 
but it has a huge whopping magazine size, almost double the size of the MSMC, and a lot of people started using it, so it was a really amazing SMG. I really enjoyed using the PDW all the time, more so than the MSMC. But anyways, guys, let me know what your top five is or your top 10 is down below in the comment section below. And also let me know what you guys want me to cover next week in my top 10. Leave a topic down below. And also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I do do my top 10s over there using the hashtag OG's Top 10. So if you want to be featured in a future episode, make sure to follow me and wait for that top 10 tweet that I show off every single Friday. So make sure to follow me. And also, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to slap a like and a favorite. It does get it out there for more people to enjoy. And also, if you guys are new and you enjoy this kind of content and want to stay up to date with all the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare news, and make sure to subscribe. I'll be one of the first guys to get you that info. So make sure to sub up so you won't miss a single video. But until next time, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the top 10. Leave some comments down below. Make sure to subscribe. Slap a like. And until next time, guys, I'm X-Rays. I'm out. Peace.